guys, what is going on? Retro here, and I'm back with another TF2 commentary. And today I'm be talking about some updates, not only in the Team Fortress universe, but also just for Steam in general, especially trading and scam, new scamming methods. So if you guys didn't know already, Steam has implemented a new safety feature for trading. Uh, no longer do you have to confirm you're not a bot or fill out a captcha at the bottom of the trade, but now they have added a email confirmation to complete any trade or trade offer. So basically after making any live trade in game or making a trade offer you'll get an email from Steam confirming the trade or trade offer with whatever you are trading uh, depending on what game you're playing. Now originally we had an update where you had to make sure by clicking a button you're not a bot or filling out a captcha and that was fine I, I felt like that's an excellent step to have to protect uh, traders but adding in another additional step or even live trades in game feels like a bit too much for me even live trades there's a email confirmation which I feel like is way too far they took it a bit too far in safety but you can disable the email verification but then by disabling the email confirmation uh, that means steam support will not provide you assistance in recovering any items lost through uh, scams or any hijacking or anything like that so it's, it's a bit of an issue here, I mean, I, I like that Steam's trying to take another extra step and try to protect traders, but I feel like this one they just went a little bit too far with. So next, in the TF2 universe, we got an update yesterday, including two new crates that include a bunch of new strangers and killstreak kits, and one of the crates being crate 90, including a strange AWP or upper hand, a strange Ula, uh, a strange coop, a caber, which isn't new. It was previously in the Sauge Crate 30, but I guess they're just bringing it back since I, I guess people like strange capers. Who doesn't want a stick that explodes? I mean, I love it. And now they put in the Frenchman's Barrette, the Texas Tin Gallon, a strange winger, strange cow mangler, which is the stranger fire, not the actual weapon, a third degree stranger fire, and. Oh and some strange parts let's see oh the strange parts are uh, not a crit uh, player hits and assists which are okay to, like strange parts but uh, I guess it'd be useful with spy to let you know uh, how uh, I guess your backstabs or your ambassador hits are because those are crits so I guess that can help out and the next crate we got was crate 91 which are all kill suit kits which are like other munition crits uh, where or crates which it involves the flare gun, wrench, revolver, machina, baby face, blaster, too long heater, loose cannon, vaccinator, and airstrike. So you can get normal kill streak kits, specialized kill streak kits, and professional kill streak kits for all of these. I can't wait to get my hands on some of these new crests, new crates, and test out my luck on getting some pro kill streaks and maybe even the strange AWP, which I heard has been going for around two buds on Outpost, which seems ridiculous. And it'd be interesting to see what they go for, since they are certainly are going to drop after a while, but for now, it seems like they're the hot ticket item on the market. And next up in trading in general, this goes for Outpost, CSGO Lounge, and Steam, is there's a new scamming method out there. I haven't seen it as much as the Fisher bots or the fake links, but it's definitely a pretty dangerous one that you might not even know you're getting scammed. So basically... Uh, I got this info from Peace Bear, and this is what he said. So basically, it goes like this: someone puts up a trade on Outpost or CS:GO Lounge, saying they don't they don't play CS:GO or TF2 anymore, and they want a Steam background or some Steam emoticon that's rare, and they have an AK Vulcan or some unusual worth like thirty dollars, and they say they can't use the Steam market since they added new funds to their account. And they're like, I can't buy that background, so if you can buy me that background, then trade me for it, send me a trade offer, or trade for it, then we have a deal. So you're like, oh, I see a, I see a opportunity to make some profit here. I can buy this $15 background and get a $30 unusual or, or CSGO skin, and you'll be like, great, I made profit there. And everyone wants to make profit because it's pretty tough right now, especially in a TF2 community. CSGO is always going to be profitable with trade-ups and whatnot, but... TF2, there's small chances for you to get profit now these days with the community being so toxic. But basically, after you agree you'll buy the background for them, you go out to the market, you, you buy it, 
and then when you go to the trade they say actually I'm not interested in that anymore I don't want it and then you're like okay so be it uh, I guess I we just going through the trade but what you don't realize is that they they were the seller of that background that background is not really worth fifteen dollars or whatever you paid for it the person has two accounts and they're manipulating you to pay for some random steam item uh, probably not even worth fifteen dollars or a dollar at a maximum so what they'll do is they'll make they'll uh, put up put it up like right before they tell you to go buy it uh, then when once you purchase it uh, you'll be sending them however much you pay like if you pay fifteen dollars then they'll get fifteen dollars so it's pretty dangerous I mean I haven't seen it used as much as the most common friend whatever uh, fake link fisher box or anything like that but uh, it's definitely a dangerous one since you might not even know what's happening and it's pretty uh, clean and smooth for scammers they just keep getting better and better so make sure you guys pass this on to your friends and be sure to watch out for this uh, this has mostly been happening on CSGO lounge so I wouldn't say as much on Outpost, but it definitely can work for Outpost or Lounge or anything on the Steam market, so watch out for that. And fourth and finally today, while looking around on the workshop, I noticed the collection that looked pretty familiar. Looked like the Robot Boogaloo update, and then I saw it had a 2.0 next to it. Yep, that's right. We may be getting another Robot Boogaloo update, which I think would be absolutely awesome. Um, I, as a Robo collector myself, I love Robo hats and effects. I know a lot of people don't like them, but in my perspective, I do. So seeing another another update with possibly new Robo hats and effects would be absolutely awesome for me. And some of the hats in the collection include the bolted barrette, which is the Bill's hat, clad iron claws, which is the Beamock, the robot stash, which is the soldier stash, and the processor's hallmark, which is the hustler's hallmark for the demo man. Now most of these items are from the original creators of the first Robot Boogaloo update and you know the first update looked absolutely fantastic so these are ready to go to be put in the game any at moment's notice. My only concern here are the hats being promos like promos we know them as currency like keys is worth however however much refined it is right now which I think is 14 or like two dollars and fifty cents. There's a max head which is like three bucks ninety dollars or something like that but Having robot promos would be interesting to see what they go for since uh, normal robo hats are classified lower than hats, especially in, in usual trading. Like if you have a robo hat with burning flames and then a normal hat with burning flames, you take the bur normal hat. So seeing if, if Valve decides to put in this, it'd be interesting to see what they make the, the prices of the robot currency. Yeah, but I don't think they're going to be put in since their promos are promos for a specific reason and yeah guys that's pretty much it for this week's update be sure to look out for an unboxing video i'll be looking to get my hands on some crate 90 and 91s and hopefully open up 10 to 20 of those for you guys to see what is inside and this is retro signing off